Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and in this video I'm going to give a review of the Arteza Acrylic Color 24 Acrylic Paint Set. And I'm also going to be Bible journaling Matthew chapter 3 verse 17 if you're interested. Stay to the end as we Bible journal together in this section. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and today I'm going to do a review of the Ar Artisa Acrylic Paint. This is the 24 count acrylic colors premium acrylic paint and I purchased these myself on Amazon to use in my Bible. So at the end of this video, I will do some Bible journaling with it. If you want to stay tuned for that, that's going to be in Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. But let's go ahead and do the review today. And I am just going to grab my scissors. I haven't even opened the box. Now these run, mm, I got them on Amazon. Let's see if I can find the, I think I purchased them for about $21 on sale on Prime Day. So I know they go on sale a lot of times, especially Black Friday, Prime Day, stuff like that. So keep your eye out for them. And I also know that sometimes they go on sale at their own website as well. So I will link up for you if you are interested in purchasing these. When you do purchase something with our affiliate links, you do support our channel. And I just thank you so much for doing that. If you like these reviews, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help. And spread the word and help other people find what they're looking for so thank you in advance for that so as I look at these the way this is set up is on the package itself it gives you all the colors that I have so 24 total colors um, come in this package here and then it talks about the transparency and it gives you a pigment number and it gives you light fastness uh, so these are really important things to know transparency meaning does is it is it um, see-through so for example if you were going to cover some words and you want the words to see through you're going to want something more transparent if you are wanting not for things to be seen through you want something a little more opaque and so this actually gives you three different indicators one being completely transparent which is very I would assume is the open <laughs> the open square one that is halfway so maybe you know somewhat transparent and then the last one being not transparent which of course would be your your darker colors for sure like your blacks and hopefully your whites if you're lucky sometimes um we'll have to see how that goes in the bible when we use the white so um that's how it works in terms of light fat fastness that's really how long if you were to put this out in the sun like would it fade over time so you really want things that are really light fast when, when you're doing any kind of art. Of course, in your Bible, it doesn't really matter that much because most of the time you're not exposing your Bible or that one particular page to light. So it's not the biggest deal, but if you are creating things that you want to sell or you want to have stand the test of time, and even, you know, of course, if you can't afford to get things that are light fast, then yes, do it. Um, it, it definitely is better to have a higher quality product so that is that let's look at this little box comes in a box yeah the tubes are actually pretty nice size tubes because um in your bible you actually don't use a lot of product whenever you're using something you don't need a lot of it so i can imagine these will last for a long time even in your faith art journaling you don't need a lot of product so this could last I think a long time for you guys if you're interested in these so um, let's open these up and check out the different colors you get the colors are gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous you can see here on each one of them I love this you can see the name of it you can see the light fastness of it and you can see the transparency so cerulean blue is light fast and it is opaque, so we'll have to check that out. And then we have these last colors, which are our browns and grays and blacks. So what I thought I would do is a little comparison on some of the colors with different brands. So I can compare yellow, and again, 
you know, I'm not going to have exactly the right colors, but I'll try to match them as much as I can. But I can uh, compare the Artist Loft yellow, uh, uh, yellow. I can compare Golden. I can compare. I can compare Liquitex in the yellows, and then I have um, Artist Loft in the purple as well that I can try. So I have some other other paint brands that we can try against us. I have a whole bunch of them here. So I just pulled a few of them out so that we could test them and see how well they work together. So let's, and see how, you know, are they as good as some of these nicer brands or as cheap as some of these other ones. So let's go ahead and get started doing some of that fun stuff. And I know that some of you guys like the apple barrel paint, so I'll go grab a yellow one of that as well so we can check that out together. Okay, I did grab some Apple Barrel paint and some actually Master's Touchline as well. Master's Touchline is Hobby Lobby. Apple Barrel you can get from platonline.com as well as Walmart and Amazon. Artist Laugh brand comes from Michaels. Um, Golden you can get from any art store. Liquitex, any art store. And then of course Artist Laugh um, is from Michaels. So let's go ahead and test some of these colors out and see how well they go down. So this is just a little art journal that I can work in. Let me grab a paintbrush real quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some down. I'll do the lemon yellow in the Arteza brand. And when I open it, it is not sealed in case that matters. Sometimes when you buy acrylic paint, it does come sealed. This one was not sealed. So that is something that would be a little concerning only because over time paint does dry. Of course, I've had almost all of these colors here for about four years and they're not dry yet. So <laughs> just something to be aware of. So I'm just gonna place them down and paint that. So you can see, oops, I have a little bit of paint on this brush. So I'm getting a little bit of a color. Hmm. I gotta be better about really rinsing these brushes off. I thought I did, but I didn't. Okay, there we go. That is a nice thick paint here. Let me go ahead and draw a line real quick with my pen so we can see the transparency. This one says the transparency is half, half. So it's half. Let me go ahead and just swipe that there so you can see. I think it's a nice thick paint, but you can definitely see it as it does say it is partially transparent. But that is nice. The the um, viscosity of it is really nice. So comparing, this is the Arteza. Let me just write that down, Arteza. And now let's compare that with something like a Golden, which truly isn't really a fair comparison because the golden is more expensive but I always like to compare for you guys so that you can decide for yourself so even if it's I don't expect it to be a fair comparison it actually might be just as good or better and then you could save your money and not have to buy these expensive golden paints that I will use when I'm doing work that I want to hang around the house or that I'm giving away as a gift. Okay, so the viscosity of the golden is a lot thicker. It's definitely definitely a heavier paint. It is um, much thicker. And in terms of the transparency, you can see that it is transparent as well. But from the quality of the paint itself, it does feel better, way better, which we expected, okay? So let's not act like we're surprised there golden if you're paying like a dollar for one of these tubes from Arteza but then you go to the store and you got to pay eight dollars or nine dollars or ten dollars sometimes eleven dollars for this you would expect to get higher quality so let's go again with another higher quality brand Liquitex also in the same range as the golden in terms of price this is a Liquitex heavy body acrylic paint and I tend to go through a lot of yellow. So yellow is a color that I'm, <laughs> I am I tend to have more expensive paints in that because I use it all the time. It's one of my favorite colors to use. 
Um, so the, the liquid text against it, again, works very close with the same as the golden. Um, I think it's got the same transparency almost. So I would just definitely say Liquitex. Liquitex is definitely better than the Arteza. Let's look at the Apple Barrel Paint. Now I would expect the Arteza to be better than the Apple Barrel Paint because the Apple Barrel Paint runs about 50 cents a tube at Walmart. So I can definitely tell you right now the Arteza is a lot thicker than this Apple Barrel paint. And if I put it next to it, let's just see what it looks like when it dries. So this is the Apple Barrel paint. And it's also up here as well. Now, in terms of the actual color itself, um, it's very similar, actually, to the color. And of course, the transparency is, is very similar. I would say the Arteza is just a little bit thicker, um, and it does appear to be just slightly better. So if I'm choosing between 50 cents and a or depending on if the Arteza is on sale, a lot of times if you do buy the Arteza and you get it on sale, it runs about a dollar a bottle versus the Apple Barrel and you actually get, you get more obviously. So I would say, you know, if I can afford it, I will probably buy the Arteza, but if you do buy the Apple Barrel, you're not gonna miss out too much on that. Like it's still a really beautiful color. It's just more fluid. There's more liquid in here. There's, there's more pigment in here. So, you know, you have to kind of weigh that. And then, of course, we have the Artist Loft brand. Now, this is a different color yellow, so let's see how that goes. Maybe I'll grab a different Arteza yellow color to match against it. So let's check that out. So the Artist Loft, I would say, is very similar quality to, like, an Apple Barrel. Um, slightly better, I guess. Actually, I would say the Artist Loft flows in turn almost very similar to the Arteza and I guess the, you know that would be a great deal because our, the artist loft sometimes you can get those really cheap with a coupon as well from Michaels so I'm just trying to actually match a color we can see what it looks like now that's a better match the yellow ochre in the Arteza versus the Naple yellow in the Artist Loft. Now, sorry, I can't get you guys exact, exact color swatches, but this will give you an idea. Oh, yeah, I would say the Arteza is a lot, a lot thicker. The viscosity is a lot thicker. It's definitely more of a premium than the art the artist law for sure okay so um that was yellow let me just do a couple in the purple so that you can see the arteza against the hobby lobby brand so if i was going to rank these in terms of what i would buy from a budget perspective i would probably buy if I could get the set of Arteza, I would buy the Arteza before I would buy these two. Then I would buy the Artist Loft and then I would buy the Apple Barrel. And all of these, again, the Artist Loft and the Apple Barrel and the Arteza, when you're getting them on sale, the, the Apple Barrel is gonna be a lot cheaper. The Artist Loft's gonna be very comparable, but I might, if I could get the Arteza, which is kind of almost in the same budget line, I would get it. Now, if I had the option to choose these two, obviously I would choose Liquitex and Golden before them because they're just, it's a better quality paint. You can just see it right here. So, but it is, I mean, if I got to worry about money, guys, if I have to worry about money and I'm trying to make a decision, I'm buying the Arteza because it is, 
actually a really good quality paint for the price. But in terms of ranking, if money's not an object, I'm buying the premium, then I'm buying the Arduza, then I'm buying the cheap ones with the Apple Barrel being the last one that I purchase. Now, why do I use the Apple Barrel a lot? Because well, you can use the Apple Barrel on your Bible. I'm not making it for, you know, I'm not making it for selling anything, any of my Bible journaling. So I do recommend the Apple Barrel if you have a budget conscience mindset. All right, so let's look at the paints here. So this here is Master's Touch paint. This is from Hobby Lobby. And let me just put some of that down so you can see that. I gotta get that cap on. And then I have some of the Artist Loft as well. And this is, I think this is a premium Artist Loft. Yeah, so this is the Artist Loft professional grade. So this would be like in a line with something like a Golden and Liquitex, theoretically. And actually it is pretty good, to be honest with you. So, I will often buy Artist Loft Professional high viscosity acrylics before, if I have to decide like where my money's gonna go. If they're all the same price, then I always go with Liquitex and Golden. But if it's usually the Artist Loft is cheaper and then I'll just buy whatever is cheaper but in in the higher quality line so when I look at paints I go okay there's a higher quality line and there's a, a line that's for for budget and what's my purpose so it's always important to understand what your purpose is when you're buying your paints because if you you're buying your paints because you're creating a masterpiece for your living room well then you want that to stand the test of time and you want to have really high quality paints and if you're or if you're even selling it, you want high quality paints. But if you're just doing something, you know, and it's a hobby, or if it's you're, you're doing something in your Bible and, and you don't need it to be high, high um, quality, meaning you're gonna close your Bible page, you don't need to worry about light fastness, you don't really care about the viscosity, you know, then you stay with the budget line. So it's just, it's all a preference and a budget that you have to kind of think through. I generally, when I'm looking, I like value. So I like to find things that are like, you know, really good, but low price. <laughs> Don't we all? I'm probably not the only one that likes really good, but low price. So this one here is the violet. Maybe um, I might compare it up here. No, actually. Wow, that's pretty nice. Let me compare it down here. Oh, that's great. This is awesome. So it is a little bit lighter, the violet here, compared to the Artist Loft Professional grade violet, but it's still pretty good. I mean, you can see that it is more transparent than the Artist Loft professional brand, but it's still pretty good. It's not bad. I would I would give that a thumbs up. Let me just try. Um, I don't have one to match this one, but you can totally tell. Their Master's Touch acrylic line's a little more chalky. It's not as it's not as it's not it's okay. <laughs> but again, if I'm comparing all of these, I'm gonna go with I might actually let's see, depending on sales prices and things like that. If I'm doing art for my living room, I would buy the more expensive one. I really would, because it is a better paint, but not by that much. But if I'm doing something in an art journal or doing Bible journaling with it, I would go with this one and I would even be okay with going with this one. So all in all, my ranking <laughs> for the Art is a Line uh, doesn't quite match the premium brands so I would say the premium brands go first, and then I would probably do the professional brand from Artist Loft next before I would do my Arteza, which, I mean, you know what? If it's even hanging out with these guys, it's doing good because the price, you know, is, is in the budget line, but it works really well. So 
I'm liking it. I think it's great. Then I would go with probably an artist loft, you know, level one. Then I would go with the master's touch and finally with the apple barrel. And actually, the, from a price perspective, it's actually probably right in a line with pricing. So I know that these are more expensive and then they go cheaper and cheaper. So I actually kind of funny enough, line them up almost according to price. So I think that the Arteza line is amazing and I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend it if you have, if you can get it on sale and you have a budget conscious mind like I do. I'm very value oriented. So if you're value oriented like me, I think it's a great value. If um, you are like don't have like a, any money at all then but just like a tiny bit then you could look at maybe an apple barrel and it should work for most of your faith art journaling and your bible journaling it's just very difficult to paint something for your house in an apple barrel paint unless it's like a craft if you're if you're doing like a craft i think apple barrel paint works well for that so it just kind of depends on your budget and what you're looking for and what your purpose is so I hope this was really helpful. If you want to go ahead and do the Bible journey with me, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put these aside, put all of these trials aside. And I'm definitely excited that I have had the opportunity to purchase this Arteza brand because it is, it's been a couple years since they really, since they launched. And I really have enjoyed their products. They did not give this to me. This, again, is something that I purchased myself. So as I go into Bible Journal today in Matthew chapter 3, verse 17, here I am. <clears throat> and we're at the baptism of Jesus here. And in this verse, I'm actually going to start at verse... Actually, I'll start at verse 13. It says, Then Jesus came from Galilee. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I am in an ESV journaling Bible by Crossway. Then Jesus came from Galilee to, to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him and behold a voice set from heaven said this is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased so as I get started with my Bible journaling I'm just gonna go ahead and place something down to protect this page I'll just grab something nearby like let's see I should have a I should have something nearby oh yeah I have a something to protect my work surface so let me grab that real loosely here and this will yeah that's actually kind of all ratty looking oh well I'll use it for today and then I'll probably cut it up and make it into Bible mats and then let's see I want to put something behind this and I need it to be like a Bible mat as well so let me grab one over here and I will use this behind it. I'm only needing something behind it because I don't want to accidentally get paint on the edge of my Bible. So I'm going to be using the Matthew 317 printable. Um, it's called My Beloved Son. And we have four different pages here. So we have Jesus being baptized by John the Baptist here. And then we have the larger version as well so you can for the larger Bibles so if you are looking for this you can find this in our Bible journaling store and I will link up for you so those are really fun you can choose which one you want to use um, I'm going to use the smaller elements because well really because I'm using a smaller Bible so usually I'll use the smaller elements with the smaller Bible then what I like to do is kind of like pick out what I would use as I'm looking through this. So I'm thinking a nice sunny background. I'm thinking water in the background. So I'm going to try to color match some of these colors. So 
I'm gonna start off with a yellow. And maybe I'll do like a sun, kind of yellow sunny background. So I'm just gonna come in here and I don't have to, I don't have to prep my page with any gesso because this acrylic paint does not bleed through. So I'm just gonna put a little bit down. You do not need hardly any of, you don't need any, hardly any paint when you're doing Bible journaling. You just, it's just a tiny, tiny bit, like a little tiny drop. So again, if you're buying any paints, they're gonna last for like forever, forever. <laughs> Let me just rinse out my brush here so I can come in and not get purple on it. But I'm just gonna come in and paint a little bit of yellow here. And then I'm gonna come in with that orange and just kind of blend that in a little bit. Boy, these are nice thick paints. Really nice. Probably should add a little water. Which is, I mean, you know, to say you have to add a little water <laughs> means that they're pretty, pretty good paints. So I'm gonna just add a little water that will help me to blend it in a little bit and get that paint to move just a little bit more. And I love that. And then I'll come in, I'll probably do a little more yellow here. And yeah, you can use a paint palette if you would like. If you have a paint palette and would like to use one, feel free to do that. Blending that in a little bit with that orange. Not worrying about my brush not being completely. Just one color. I like blending the colors together. Okay. So I think that looks good. I can come in with a little bit more orange, blend that in up at the top here. And again, if you wanna use a paint palette, feel free to use one. But yeah, this is really thick paint for Bible journaling, which is nice. It's nice to, you know, it's nice to have a budget line that we can use in, <laughs> in our Bibles. That's really good, <laughs> right? I'm pretty impressed. But I like that kind of blue, a little orange kind of fiery feel to it. And let me work on the blue as well for the background, the blue for the C. Now I might have to mix a little. So let's just see what this looks like. Put a little bit on my palette here. That does seem a little bit dark for what I want. So you see that I have the water here. I kind of want to match it if I can. So I'm gonna use a little bit of blue and then I'm gonna come in with some titanium white. So the color choices I picked were the cobalt blue and the titanium white. So I'm gonna mix that together and we'll see if we can't get a light blue in there. Let me kind of rinse out my brush really well. I don't want any Thing on it. Okay. Hopefully that is good. And then I'm going to take some of that blue and just mix it in with my white until I get something that I like. Hmm. That's a pretty color. I like that. It's kind of like cornflower blue. It reminds me of cornflower blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of paint some along the margin of my Bible. 
add a little bit more blue to that so I can get something that looks somewhat like waves and such. <laughs> You know, something a little bit more flowy just by adding a little bit more of that blue in there. See how easy Bible journaling can be, guys? It doesn't have to be hard. Don't make it hard. This is really about your time with the Lord and really thinking about Jesus' baptism. So don't make it hard. Just have fun. Okay. So I think this is drying. Oh, it dried. That dro dried really quick. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you have a, you see a little bit of an outline here. That's just a sticker on the other side of the page. It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, um, then I would recommend you just gesso every every time you you do your Bible journaling, and um, that would that would protect basically seal off both sides of the page. So gesso one side, let it dry. Gesso the other side, clear gesso, and then let it dry. If this kind of stuff bothers you. I like the texture so it doesn't bother me. But yeah, this dr dries, this is actually drying pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and grab my main image here, which is Jesus here. I've printed mine on sticker paper and I've cut it out with my silhouette machine. So it acts just like a sticker. I can pull it right up here. And I'm just going to place them right here in my Bible. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my tab. Now I can decide where I want to put my tab. I'll put my tab up here. Okay. And I'll fold it over. And when I fold my tabs over, I like to fold it over this way first. But I may not want to have it to, oh, I picked up some of the paint. That's funny. I may not want to have it coming over here because then it will come across this design. So I think what I'll do is I'll just cut off, cut it off here a little bit. So let me grab my scissors real quick. And I'm going to trim this tab. A little bit. There. That's pretty good. That'll function as a nice tab as well. That's pretty good. If you do get any sticky residue here, you can just put some baby powder there or you can use your EK Success powder tool to get it to not be as sticky. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see what else I want to do. I really like, I like a lot of these elements in here, but I don't want to use like a ton of them. So I'm just going to grab some. I like the idea of having these kind of come out like scattered in a way. So I'll just come in like this, whoops, add some here and there. I just thought these were really cool as kind of another kind of unique design element that you could use. And let me grab that brown. And you can write the verse on these or your thoughts on these little lines if you're following along with me. You can do that if you want to. Or they can just make a design on your page. That would be totally, totally fine. But I'm just kind of randomly putting them on there. And I love the word my beloved son, so I'm not sure if it will fit here. Beloved is the word that may not fit. Oh, it fits. Good. Because it's supposed to be two inches, so good. Yay!
my beloved son. I will tell you, working in Bible journaling with a little paint and stickers is an easy way to do it. It's really what I love to do when I don't rip the sticker. <laughs> if you do rip the sticker, you can just try to fit it back where it goes. Sometimes I do that and I don't I don't come in here and, and act like it didn't happen. I want you guys to see mistakes so that you know what I do when I have a mistake that I've made. So I have a little bit of a mistake here with the sun and I'm trying to think, maybe I can just use a little bit of this paint to fix that up a little bit. Or I can grab a Posca pen, that might work. Oh, that works well. There we go. Now you can barely tell it was there. So this is raw sienna in the Arteza brand that I'm using. And I just touched up where I, where I accidentally ripped the sticker. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. I like the idea of putting Jesus along here. So I'm gonna do that. And hopefully it'll fit. One thing you can do with your stickers, just so you know, um, is you can cut them out and then kind of audition them before you, you lay them down. So in this scenario, I will come in here and I'm gonna see, will it fit? Yeah, it will fit, but I probably might wanna move it down a little bit more if I can. So that's pretty good. And then I want to do the U next. And I'm going to do a little bit of spacing between the letters. And then the S will be next. Yeah, that's cool. And then the E would come before that. And then we have the J up at the top here. So Jesus, my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. I love that. Let's see, I'm gonna come in with some of these little dots. See how, oh, I don't wanna forget my dove. Oh, I don't wanna forget that. That's like, duh, Tracy, that's like the best part. Well, besides Jesus. <laughs> the Jesus and the Holy Spirit right there. I love this verse because it's like one of the few times where you can see, you know, feel God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus all at, like, they're all in the same scene. It's so cool. It's so neat to see that and to feel that, to just feel how awesome it must have been. I mean the heavens opened up and then everyone around heard God say, I mean, it was just like, can you imagine? Can you imagine being there and hearing that? How cool would that have been? And I mean, if you're not believing at that time, I would think you would after seeing that. And <laughs> I would think it changed a lot of people's lives. And for us, we don't we don't get to see that, but we can believe. And that is our faith. We believe by faith. We don't need sight because we have everything we need already. God's already provided that to us in his word. I don't know what else I will do. I mean, I just think this looks good as it is. I really do love it. Um, the only other thing I can think of is maybe adding a little bit oh, of the darker blue. I'm trying to get some of this paint off this brush. There's a, that purple is really something else. But I could come in. Am I, do I have any more left? No, it's already dry. Let me grab a little bit more. Well, maybe I'll try the cerulean blue. 
little bit of that cerulean blue. And then come in just a little bit, just a tad bit. And maybe just, you know, a little bit of like shadowing and like water coming out. I think that'd be cool, right? Like little puddles of water just coming out where we had that sticker. And maybe a little bit coming down here. Like little little ripple effect. Down to the word sun, I think would be really cool. A little ripple effect there. So our eyes can be drawn down to that. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. And paint that into the background. I do try to color match as best I can, but sometimes, you know, you don't need to. I like that, the way it is. Other things we could do, we could come in with a little bit of, you know, journaling here would be a perfect place here to write some journaling, or maybe come in with a Posca pen and do a little bit more design work. You could come in here and do some like little circles here. You know, you could do all kinds of things like little, designs with your with these different colors just to kind of help them stand out a little bit this is a Posca pen in the size 3m but for the smaller ones you might want to do a, a thinner Posca pen or you could come in even with like a micron pen here this is a micron pigma micron 05 archival ink pen and you can do a little bit with this pen just have a bunch of these little circles if you want to add more if you're you know if you're sitting here and really kind of contemplating and thinking about how amazing it would have been to witness all this you can come in here and just do doodles and little you know maybe do some little crosses here as you're thinking about the verse don't like if you think you know you you still want to meditate on the verse you don't have to stop you just come in here and Put a little bit of crosses here and just little doodles and things to get you to think about that verse a little bit more. So don't ever feel like just because you put some paint down and some stickers that you're done. You don't have to be done. Just keep working on your Bible journaling. But there is my entry. I love it. I think it's great. And I really enjoyed working with the premium Artisa acrylic colors that I bought from Amazon. I think they're definitely beautiful in my Bible. I definitely can say they're they're worth the price, especially if you get them on sale. I hope this was a helpful review to you. Please give me a thumbs up and you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.